Hi, my name is Dan and I'm one of the DT evangelists here at Digital Tutors. In this video, we're going to look at a question from one of our users, Zukran, on how to render a PSD texture using Menelray. Okay, so to illustrate this, I have the guy from the Creating Cartoon Characters in Maya course. And right now, uh, all the textures are actually in JPEGs. If we were to hop over into our Hypershade here, uh, let's take a look at the way these textures are set up. Uh, the one we're focusing on in particular are the textures in the head which is actually using a subsurface scattering so there's a few files that are plugged in and if we were to open these up we can see that these files are actually uh, JPEG files right now okay so um, if we were to render this out it wouldn't have any issue now for the sake of this lesson what I've done is I've gone ahead and if we open up our uh, textures folder here. I've actually just created a PSD or a Photoshop document version of the JPEG images so that way we can take a look at how we can render out uh, PSD files. Okay, So let's hop back into our Hypershade here and if we were to, let's hide this so we can see a little bit easier. If we were to come in on our file texture nodes and let's come in and remap these. So uh, rather than the JPEG here. Let's pull in the Photoshop document. So this is for the head color. So that will be the head color Photoshop document or PSD. And we can see down in our script editor we're actually getting an error where it's having an issue opening up the texture file. So um, let's just go ahead and ignore that for now and see if we can bring in these other ones. So rather than actually browsing to them, I'm just going to type in PSD since I know that those are located there. So just switching the file extension for the actual files. Or we could actually just select all of the text here in the image name and go ahead and paste this using control C and control V into our other file nodes. Okay, so uh, one more here and this is actually for the subsurface scattering. Okay, so we have all of our PSD files hooked up. Okay, so Let's hop back into our render view. And now if we were to render this out, you can see that uh, for our head texture here, it's, it looks pretty silly. It's uh, completely black. It's really not what we want. Um, well, the reason for that is because the actual file nodes can't read the PSD or Photoshop documents. There's actually a different node that we're going to have to use if we wanted to use Photoshop textures. And that error that we were getting in our script editor was kind of warning us of that. So let's go ahead and bring in some of those other nodes that we can work with. So uh, let's come over to our 2D textures. And instead of a file node, which is what these nodes are here, I'm going to use a PSD file node. Okay, so it uh, looks like we'll need four of those. So I'll just go ahead and bring four of them in. And once we have all these in, what we can do is reconnect our subsurface scattering material with our PSD file. So uh, to do this, we're going to come in and for this file here, let's just hover over the connection. We can see this is plugged into the uh, specular color. Okay, so let's find our specular color here. This is going to be actually the front, the epidermal. So I'll just plug that in there. And we also have one that's plugged into the uh, Oh, this guy looks like you know, plugged into the spec there. This guy's plugged into the diffuse. So we'll plug one into the diffuse here. And we'll also plug one into the uh, subdermal scatter, sc scatter color. And the last one here is uh, plugged into the specular. So let's uh, scroll down to the specularity, open that up, and we'll connect this guy in here. Okay, so basically what we've done is we've replaced the file connections with this PSD file connection node. So now what we need to do is to just relink the actual image name just like we would in a regular file texture. So rather than browsing for all of them, since I already have them in our file textures here, I can just copy this path and go ahead and paste this into the PSD file texture node. Okay, so paste that in there. And we'll do the same thing for these others. Now, actually what I'm going to do is the first one I'm going to do is going to be the guy that's connected to my uh, 
background subsurface scattering here, this uh, subdermal. So that way I can make sure that that's the only one that's going to be different. So I'll do that one first. So let's pull that up. This will be my sub here, the PSD file. Okay, so we have that one in. So the rest of these are just going to be the same texture as the head color. Okay, so I'll just go ahead and paste the file name in there. Okay, so we have all these connected now. What we can do is let's go ahead and reorganize this. So uh, what we have instead of the using the file texture node, if we're using the PSD file texture node, now Maya and Mentalware will be able to know how to read those actual Photoshop documents. Okay, so let's hop back into our render view. And this is what it looked like before. But if we were to render this out now with our PSD file texture nodes, as we see the result that we get is that uh, Mental Ray is obviously seeing those Photoshop documents. Or so our PSDs are able to render out. So that's a quick look at how we can use the PSD file node in order to render out textures that have been created using the PSD file format.